Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. In this vlog, we're gonna do a, a wild camp, bivy and tarp. I've got to get used to the lightweight gear, so I'm gonna be using the bivy and tarp. Looking forward to that. But that's not happening tonight. Right now, I am setting out some, uh, some camera traps. Uh, this area, I've been sussing it out for a while and there's a lot of wildlife going on here. There's bird wildlife, we've got kestrels, we've got buzzards, we've got deer knocking about in here. I've seen deer every time I've come here. For the last five times I've been sussing it out, there's deer knocking about around here. We've got foxes, we've got badgers. So I've set out some, uh, some camera traps and uh, we'll be having a look at the footage from that when I come out to, to do a wild camp out here. We'll be looking at that at the end of the vlog. So let's go over and have a look at where I've put the, uh, the camera traps and uh, then we will be returning when I'm setting up camp uh, somewhere around about here. So I hope I can find the cameras again now. Um, now you can see that fallen tree there and uh, I have seen a deer knocking about around here like I say and uh, yes I put the camera looking in underneath there because I think an animal would use that as like a shelter, um, don't you? So I've put the camera looking right at that there. So that should be interesting at night to see what's knocking about around here. And not so far away over here, I've put the other one because I think we'll see some wildlife coming through this direction here. So the fallen tree is there and I've put the other camera just there. And that is looking out over that way. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, coming out here in a couple of days time, seeing what we get on the, uh, on the camera traps and using the Rab Ridge Raider, that's my bivy and a tarp because like I say, I am trying to get into using much more lightweight gear. And I think the tarp will give me enough space uh, for cooking and just uh, relaxing before I actually get into the bivy. But we will see. It's gonna be a couple of days for me, but a couple of seconds for you. Welcome back. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? As you can see, I've got the backpack. I've got the wild camping gear in the Exos backpack. And I've got squeaky bag syndrome again. So it's becoming a feature with this bag and I'm gonna cure it. So I was going to go that way, but I think I'm going to bring you better views and maybe a lovely sunset. Look, it's, it's approaching uh, it's approaching sunset. We've got uh, maybe a couple hours left to find a spot. And I think that uh, it'll be better up on Ramsden Edge. So I am searching for a new place. Haven't been up there before. So uh, we'll be searching for one, hopefully find a good one. Remember, I said that I'm using the bivy and tarp tonight because I'm wanting to really practice with the lightweight gear. So the bag doesn't weigh too much. It's still weighing in at a good 10 kilograms, but normally I'm up at 14, 15, as you know. So it does feel a lot lighter. It's surprising what just four kilograms does. Uh, every step uh, carrying four kilograms less. So yeah, squeaky bag syndrome. We'll be having a look at that later on. And the bivy and the tarp. I've got a little bit of food to cook for my supper. So I will see you later on when I'm getting pitched up. You'll see the bag has gone. And that's because I have actually found where I, we, and I'm so glad you're with me, are a bit all by myself. Um, I saw this little bit of a track here. And I just thought I'll have a look where that goes. And it's a perfect spot. So glad that I brought you up here and decided to take this route because the view, the view is stunning. Uh, you can't quite see it for the sun, but uh, there, look at the views. And it just gets better as we go down. You might be able to see my bag over there, right over there. And it's a little, uh, little disused quarry. Um, so there's a lot of quarries around here. Now, I'm not the, uh, I'm not the first person to camp here. I can see other people have, and I can see why. And it's just this little uh, disused quarry here. So it's very flat. It's such a good pitch, let me show you. And the view is stunning. 
So there we go, there's my bag and you can see how flat that area is and it's a, just a little bit of a disused uh, quarry area and there is a fire pit. Someone has camped here before, there's a lovely little fire pit there. Um, yeah, what a great place and my uh, pitch will be just there on the edge. Let me see if I can show you properly. Just there, right on Ramsden's edge. This is a really good spot. Might have to bring Sheila here. It's brilliant. Right, I'm gonna get set up and I'll get back to you when we get set up here. It's uh, tap and bivy tonight. A little bit of food. Whew. <laughs> Let me just get this microphone right. <laughs> What a journey that was. Uh, a right faff setting up this tarp. I'm gonna to have to get better at it. I've only done it a couple of times. Uh, it's not great, is it? It's not a great setup that. Let me just see if I can show you. But you get the idea. I have got the Rab Ridge Raider, which will be just going inside there. So I'm covered, literally. Uh, so this tarp is just to keep the uh, keep the wind off. It's, it's got quite windy this evening. A gorgeous evening though, look at that. I'm so glad that I brought you up here. Just them views is, is just enough, isn't it? So, um, look at that. It's a fantastic evening. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Get that old guy out at shot. That's better. So, let me just give you a little look inside. So that's uh, inside, I've got my bag there, I've got some space, got the DD um, magic carpet down there and I'm just going to do some cooking, I've got a nice flat piece of stone there, do a little bit of cooking and then get the uh, Rab Ridge Raider up and get in there and have hopefully a nice night's sleep. So yeah, just a little, uh, little quarry area here, I think it's a great spot, give you a little look sun comes down. It's not bad. It's just to keep the, uh, there's that many different ways of setting a tarp up, but that's just keeping the wind off. I got stuck with these rocks. All these rocks, it was bigger than I thought. I should have put the DD magic carpet down first, but I didn't, but you live and learn. Okay, let's get some food on. I am hungry after all that faffing about with the tarp. But uh, what a spot. Now, I don't normally do this, but uh, welcome to the kitchen. Watch this fall over. So I've got a bit of bacon in there. I've got some bread already buttered. Yes, Sheila was involved in the process of uh, buttering that bread. So we've got a little bit of good food tonight and uh, I've got some tomato in there and I've got a little tin of beans and sausage I might do. Now, as you can see, this is blowing about a fair bit. It is quite windy out there. The setup is pretty good, but do you know, I might get the Rab Ridge Raider up later and drop this tarp. This tarp is doing the job though for the cooking. So I'm gonna get this bacon and tomato butty sorted. Look at that. <laughs> the wind is getting up and we'll see how I go on. But uh, the sunset was absolutely fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, how's the GoPro doing in the darkness? It's, uh, that's just all that's left of the light. It's been a lovely evening and I've just about got set up. I did enjoy my bacon butter. Um, can you just make out the setup there? I've got the Rab Ridge Raider. Without the hoops in, I'm just gonna use it as a straight uh, bivy. Hope you can just about make that out, maybe there. Um, yeah, it's quite dark in there. And I'm glad because uh, I'm ready for some sleep. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> it was a bit of a nightmare last night, to be honest. Uh, the wind got up and uh, the pegs pulled out. I knew I should have dropped this uh, tarp. The pegs came away and I had to re-peg it out in the night in the strong wind. The wind has subsided now. I'll just give you a little look at the view. 
That's the view that I've got this morning, lovely. A little bit misty. Haven't actually got out yet because I can't get out of that little gap. I've had to peg it down. Uh, so I definitely will use a different configuration next time I use the tarp. And I will be using the uh, the tarp and bivet a lot more because I've got to get into practicing with the with the ridge raider with the bivy bag and and the tap so yeah it was it wasn't a bad uh, night actually once i got everything sorted i was plenty warm enough so uh, not a bad night's sleep yeah i know what you're thinking good night's sleep tell your face rob <laughs> well there's a better look at the view that i've got let's just go up here so we've got all that over there all that good stuff and uh, the mist is just starting to uh, to rise uh, the sun will be coming up over this side looking forward to that coming up but this episode is not over yet because we've got the camera traps to collect so i'm going to get packed away leaving no trace of course and then we're going to get down and pick up the camera traps okay i've reached the spot where the camera traps were put out and um, we're going to take a walk over in a moment but from here I can't even see, I can't even see them pretty close. I can see one, I can see one, the strap around the tree there, but the other one I can't see. So there's every chance that they're both there. So let's have a walk over. So if you remember, I did say that there was some, some deer around here. You might even spot it if it flies out. Frightens the life out of me, yes, both of them. Both cameras are there, so there's the one that I wasn't sure about. Is there? Um, uh, do you know what? I just heard it. I thought they were absolutely silent, these cameras, but just as I walked in front of it, I heard a little, very faint little clunk as the shutter took a picture. So they're not silent, and that explains why sometimes. Um, such as a deer is looking right at the camera when it takes a picture. I often wondered, you know, can they see the somehow see the the uh, infrared light? But they'll hear that if I can hear it. So they're not absolutely silent. So let's get this off. We've got the fallen tree there, not quite fallen. <laughs> and uh, I thought that maybe the deer might use that to, uh, to drink. There's a puddle of water that runs down, so it'd be quite clean water. And I thought it might even just stand under there, just using it as a bit of shelter from the wind or whatever. Um, that was my idea anyway. And that's where I put the camera and it's still there. And I think I just heard it make that little faint noise. So let's get this one off. I'm sure I've scratched the lens of this uh, GoPro. It's the uh, lens mod as well. I won't be replacing that. I'm going to go back to the uh, more compact original one. Because uh, they're quite expensive. It's frustrating that. Can you see that little mark in the middle? Oh, I know when I did it. That's it for this one. We've collected the camera traps and I'm going to leave you with the footage and the pictures from that. I'm going to make my way back to the car. It's been a great one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I upload vlogs every month. Um, we had a little wild camp up there on uh, Ramsden Edge using the bivy and the tarp. Bit of a rickety setup. But uh, yeah, it's all part of the learning process. So... Uh, I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you guys with me. So until the next one, bye.